Esophageal manometry is a very common test that's performed when we evaluate patients who have refractory reflux. It really is important because sometimes the lower esophageal sphincter is actually too tight rather than too loose. This would be known as achalasia. And so in upwards of between 5 and 15 percent of patients who have classic reflux symptoms, they may really have achalasia, which is the sphincter being too tight, and that would be treated in a completely different way because it's not reflux. But what we're looking for in the non-achalasia patient, the standard refluxing patient, is how high is the pressure at the lower esophageal sphincter, and that tells us a reflection of how little or how much muscle you may still have because we know you need enough muscle to resist the gastric pressure in order to not reflux. We get this information from the manometry study. We also get information about the upper esophageal sphincter. And a lot of times, people who have problems with reflux have an overly tight upper esophageal sphincter as a reaction to things coming up in the body trying to protect the larynx against reflux. The other component we look at is the actual peristalsis, or normal contraction in a rhythmic fashion from top to bottom, of the esophagus. And the disorder of peristalsis, which we have reflected as a percentage of normal versus spasm versus just simply non-conducted contractions, becomes very important because it tells us just how bad the symptoms are and how much the reflux has adversely affected the esophagus.